Welcome to this EuroLean Plus lecture. Today we will give a short overview of important methodological developments in the planning and control at high-variety, low-volume companies. We distinguish six important developments. Period batch control is a more than 80-year-old just-in-time system for production planning and control in high-variety, low-volume environments. Each stage in the goods flow only produces in a period those items which are needed in the next stage in the next period. It is important to remember that the lead times of the various stages are equal and do not depend on the amount of work needed per item in each stage. Also, batch sizes are determined by the periodical need, independent of ordering and holding costs. Manufacturing requirements planning was developed more than 50 years ago as a system for production planning, scheduling, and inventory control. Based upon the demand for each product, the MRP system calculates the demand for each item using the information in the bill of material and the current inventory level of the items. Next, batch sizes are determined, which balances inventory and ordering costs. It is important to remember that MRP controls all items independently of each other and lead times are order specific. MRP systems are usually software based, so it is possible to control the inventory and ordering of a large number of items. The just-in-time philosophy comes from Toyota about 40 years ago. The basic idea is that manufacturing should be such that products are made by a means of a regular flow of value-adding activities. Activities are only performed if subsequent activities can follow. For example, available Kanban cards give authorization signals for production. Many people say that just-in-time can only be used in a low-variety, high-volume, and stable environment. This unnecessarily limits its application area. There are many examples of just-in-time manufacturing in environments with substantial variety. Just-in-time leads to short throughput times and stimulates the realization of high-quality production. One way to simplify a situation with many types of products that each have their own routing is to create independent cells. Each cell produces a set of products which need overlapping machines. In this way, small independent cells are created, able to perform all processes needed to manufacture their products. Each cell has its own lead time. The team working in a cell is an autonomous group responsible for the online or offline scheduling of jobs. In many cases, however, there are machines that cannot be divided among various cells. Furthermore, it may not be possible to create a balanced cell structure. In quick response manufacturing, a lean approach for high variety and low volume, Rajon Suri, about 20 years ago, proposed the development of dependent cells. He developed the card-based Polka system to coordinate the flow of jobs between cells. Similar to the just-in-time philosophy, Polka demands that jobs can only be manufactured in a cell if a subsequent cell can make time to perform the next operation. A very simple system to cope with the high variety, low volume in manufacturing systems is the so-called Conwip FIFO TACT system. This system was developed and implemented at Eaton Holick in the Netherlands around 2010 by Jonas Slump, Jos Bokorst, and Remco Gems. The system recognizes the need for and the ability of workers to do the detailed planning and scheduling of jobs themselves. They need to have sufficient control capabilities to cope with variations on the work floor. The system applies three basic lean principles that guides the team in deciding the manufacturing sequence at each station. First of all, the Conweb concept limits the number of jobs in the system. Doing so, the average throughput time is in control. Next, the FIFO principle asks the workers to focus on the jobs which will take the longest time in the system. Doing so, the variety of throughput times is reduced. Finally, the TACT principle stimulates the workers to produce as many products as needed by the customer. A simple digital screen is used to provide the team information about the WIP level, the time that the jobs are in the system, and the output so far. The daily output is input for the factory planner to release new jobs to the work floor. Manufacturing systems and factories are becoming complex systems with a mix of automated machines with different types of transport vehicles and storage. This creates scheduling complexity. Supply chain linkages may further complicate the planning and control of production orders. 
In order to cope with these complexities, the concept of digital twin might be useful. In this concept, a precise computer model is created which mimics the status and the linkages in the real world. Using this model to simulate possible actions supports decision-making for planning, scheduling, and control. Digital twins make use of the Internet of Things technology. Comparing reality with the simulation output is an input for learning. It supports the improvement of the computer model, and it may also trigger improvements on the work floor. So what did we learn from the developments in planning and control in high variety and low volume? Period batch control taught us the value of fixed lead times of cells and how this simplifies the coordination between the cells. MRP software is able to cope with complex product structures and products which use similar items. It supports the timely release of orders for these items. Just in Time taught us that external and internal customer demand should be the trigger to start each manufacturing activity. Polka stresses the need to standardize the coordination of the goods flow between the cells according to work in next queue principles. The Conwip FIFO TACT system stresses three basic principles for manufacturing systems. These principles limit and set the decision space for release and dispatching decisions in a cell or team. Digital twin control is a new concept which may be helpful to make smart online scheduling decisions in the case of a complex goods flow system. The main challenge here is to integrate planning and control in the work floor activities. Thank you for watching this video on the important methodological developments in the planning and control at high variety, low volume companies.